everyone. Welcome to another episode of Q&A with VA. I'm Sarah. This is Clint Hansen. We're so excited to be with you guys today, answering your questions. Just wanted to check in. You know, we're much further into 2019 now. Not much further, but we're a little we're a little further into 2019. Wanted to see how you're doing with your resolutions. You know, uh, pretty good. Like I feel good and bad about it. Like the good part is I feel great. Uh huh. Okay. But I feel bad or like foolish, and I never like foolish? stuck with this for a long period of time. Oh, you have regrets. I do. Like I feel like I've I've felt crummy mm. for far too long, and not really. I, I guess I realized why. I just I either ate so much on purpose to get big, or thought I needed to eat that much, and sometimes I'd go on a diet and it'd feel really good, but I wouldn't like learn from that. And then, mm. and, and then the end of 2018, I just I felt really crappy. And now I just feel so great because it's going awesome and it's, it's like, how, how naive was I to not get on this bandwagon soon? I understand. I understand. So, with all that to say, it's going great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, you know, it, it was funny. I definitely hit like this moment, a very specific specific moment where like the excitement about the new year and the, and the resolutions was gone. And I, I started to feel like I was just in the routine again, and I, I've been having to make more of a concerted effort with reminding myself, no, I have new resolutions, and I'm gonna be consistent and stick to them and stay committed. So, yeah, I definitely had a couple of those moments, but mm-hmm, mm -hmm. you, you, you have to just go for it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we have some questions. Questions? Oh, yes, did, you, did, did I? pluralize that? Did I say questions? Yes, as a matter of fact, we have more than one question. Our first question is from our friend, Skippy02. Skip, skip. I like it, I like this name. It makes me feel like they like peanut butter or they like to skip. I, either way, it's good. Dimpling your barrel for gas block set screws. Best method slash technique or at least your recommendation. Okay. What do you think? I mean, best method is whatever you choose. I think there's uh, a couple companies out there that have some fixturing for it. For me, it's a little less complicated. Before we pinned and when I, I built it a lot in my career, um, I, I did it literally this way, I'll show you. So by the time we get to this point, your, your receivers and your barrel, everything's installed, low pros installed. I would find a way to get your receiver flat on a table mm -hmm. and your barrel braced. And once everything is secure and tightened, I would then loosen one screw, okay? Mm -hmm. Loosen one screw, and then I think the drill bit was 140, 150,000, somewhere around there. Just enough so I can get it through there, and I don't have a lot of wobble, but I'm not shredding my threads on the low pro. But sitting it on a table nicely like that, take my drill, gently drilling it down. Okay. Once that's done, blow that out, put a little Loctite in there, reinstall the screw, and then do that on the front side. That made it really easy for me and consistent. I could feel how much of the barrel I was eating up and how deep the dimple was going. Um, Probably a ton of better ways to do it, but that's literally how I used to do it years ago. Uh, we don't, obviously don't do that anymore, but hopefully that helps you out a little bit. I have a question. Sure. Uh, what if you go through, like all the way through? Because I'm assuming you don't want to go. You just want no, to. No, you don't. <laughs> that would be a problem. Yeah. Yeah, you would ruin your barrel at that point. Okay. That's yeah, you don't there. like as soon as you start seeing shavings kick up a little bit. I mean, as soon as you know you're eating in that barrel, go ahead and stop and take a look. It's not going to take much. Okay. You might need a little more force if it's like a nitride barrel. It might take a minute for it to drill but eat it up. But if it's stainless, it's going to eat it real quick and go in there. So you definitely want to be careful. Good question. Okay. So it's not, it, it would take concerted effort to go all the way through. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'd be pretty hard to do so. Okay. But definitely be mindful of that, especially if it's like a 625 pencil barrel or something, you have less wall thickness to the board. So maybe don't dimple your barrel when you're super, super tired and you've had a long day. It's the best time, because then you're calm. <laughs> And you can handle it. Okay. You won't just overthink something or, or not think at all. And, Whoa, and drill right <laughs> through your barrel. And then you have. Don't do it when you're angry. Then you're just gonna have two gas ports, basically. It's like that then old we'll, Chinese proverb hmm. don't dimple your barrel when you're angry. See? Yeah, I read that one time. Guess what? We're still going. We've okay. got a second question. Let's get it. It's from our friend, Brent Hansen. Brent? Hi, Hansen. Brent. Like your last name. Our name is the same. It is. Except for the first three letters of our first name. Uh, Brent wow. and Clint. Wow. Brent says, how much effect, if any, 
do different muzzle devices have on accuracy? Hmm. Hmm. This is a good question. It is a good question. What do you think? Well, we could probably spend all day talking about this. Um, but let me, I'm going to try to just touch on the key points here. Um, all muzzle devices are going to affect your accuracy in some way, shape, or form. Um, not all are going to be bad unless threads on your barrel and or muzzle device are not concentric. Installation, you can go back in some other videos and we talked about the damage of that. The correct direction of, of a crush washer to be put on before you thread on your muzzle device. Uh, if it's, so if it's hooked into the recess and can't a little bit, that can uh, push it off to the side and affect your accuracy. Or, <clears throat> in general, what happens from shooting without a muzzle device to a muzzle device is you're going to experience just a point of, uh, point of impact shift. Mm -hmm. So, and that's probably going to happen on any muzzle device, okay? Now that doesn't mean it's going to change every round. It's just without a muzzle device, your groups are here, put a muzzle device on, now your groups are just here. So it's just point of shift. Suppressors do the same thing. Um, but typically, it's not going to be a negative thing. Now, not only just is accuracy affected just by what a muzzle device can do actually to the projectile, but what can it do to the rifle? Well, if you have, let's say, a 5.56 rifle, shooting some hot ammo, um, and you just have a flash hider. Recoil, um, how, how, that, how that rifle is uh, functioning, could affect the shooter and how they're holding it. So if you were going to throw a muzzle device on, on that overgassed weapon or that, that hard thumper, whatever you want to call it, if you threw a muzzle brake on it, now you're going to uh, reduce perceived felt recoil considerably, allowing you to manage it better, hence be a more accurate shooter where the muzzle device itself isn't, you know, the only thing that's affecting the projectile flying, but the shooter's uh, controllability of the weapon. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hansen. Welcome. Thank you so much to our friends for your fantastic questions. You guys did a great job. If you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon. You know the one so that you get notified every time we do a new video. We have new Q&A videos every Thursday. What, what? Yeah, it's true. If you want to see this guy answer one of your questions, make sure to comment below. We sure can't wait to see what you guys send us. If you like this video, make sure to uh, click Click that little bell icon, you know the one, uh, so that you get a notification. And if you want to see this guy answer one of your questions, make sure to answer below. Clicks! You were right there.